Welcome to Cam Look, your daily dose of the Cincinnati Art Museum. Each weekday, a staff or volunteer will be sharing an object from the permanent collection and posing questions for discussion. Please check back at 10 a.m. every day for a new work and a new conversation. My name is Sue. I'm a volunteer docent at the Art Museum. Today I'd like to introduce you to this painting titled New England Harbor by the artist Maurice Prendergast. It is an oil on canvas painting and was created sometime between 1919 and 1923. It is currently found in the Albert E. Heakin and Bertha E. Heakin Gallery on the second floor of the Art Museum. When I look at this painting, the first thing I notice is the feeling of texture coming from the canvas. I'm not sure how the artist created this work, but it looks like maybe he started with a dark undercoat of color and then painted the lighter colors on top. I see that dark undercoat peeking out through the thick application of oil paint on top of the canvas. For me, the dark black lines between figures and houses remind me of the lead or copper joints between pieces of colored glass in a stained glass window. This effect is further reinforced by the fact that the artist used bright jewel tone paint colors and he has appeared to apply them in blotches or jabs, really mimicking the effect of the stained glass. Next, I'm struck by the number of people in this painting, which was a common theme with Prendergast. I see about 15 people, but I'm not really sure. Most of these are figures of women and children. Some of the figures are so blurred I can't really tell if it's a person or possibly a tree. How many people do you see? Prendergast's works were strongly associated with leisurely themes set on beaches and parks, and our painting is no exception. While we see people at play, we can't really tell what event has gathered them here. This painting seems to be less about a story and less about what the people are doing and more about the paint, the color, and the pattern. The perspective here is very flat. By that I mean there's not much space between the people, houses, water, and mountains. They all feel stacked on top of each other. We have some sense of a receding landscape, but the boats and the water seem almost on the same visual plane as the rooftops of the houses. We don't often talk about frames at the art museum, but this one deserves some mention as it was created by the artist's brother Charles, who was an artist in his own right and a noted frame maker in the Boston area. He designed this frame specifically to complement his brother's work. So who was Maurice Prendergast? Well, he was born in Canada, but moved to the U.S. shortly after his birth and lived in the Boston area. As a teenager, he worked as an apprentice to a commercial artist, which likely led to his affinity for bright colors and flat patterning. He attended art school in Paris and was influenced by the French Impressionists, as shown by his themes of leisure and recreation. Prendergast was, all, was considered a post-Impressionist and was influenced by names you might recognize, Vincent van Gogh, Georges Seurat, and Paul Cezanne, among others. Each of these artists influenced the way he applied paint and the color palette he chose. As I wrap up today, I previously mentioned that Prendergast liked to paint people in public spaces and people at play. If you were to paint a similar setting in Cincinnati, what park or public space would you choose as the setting for your painting? I'd love to see your answers in the comments below.